You can use regression equation functions in the calculator to find the line of best fit for a set of data points. To do so, first enter in your data points. I'll press the STAT key and make sure that the data points I've entered are still there. If you're not sure how to do that, check out the movie in this section on entering paired data into lists. Next, I'll press ENTER in the lower right corner of the keypad to view my points. In this case, I've got four data points, 117, 226, 342, and 457. That looks good, so I'm going to press SECOND and then the MODE key just to the right of it to go back to the home screen. Now I'm going to press the STAT key again. Notice along the top of the STAT menus I have a few tabs. Edit, Calc, and Tests. I'm going to press the right arrow key once to move over to the Calc area, and now I'll find some regression commands. In this case, I'm going to start with the quadratic regression equation in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C. This command is number 5. I can use the down arrow key to move to the number or press the number on the keypad to select this command. This will open up a stat wizard that requests some variables. Note that many commands have wizards that look similar to this one which make it very easy to supply the information required to perform the function. The first variable is my X data. Because my X data is contained in list 1, I just need to make sure list 1 is entered here, which it is. If your data is in a different list, it's easy to reference different list variables by pressing the second key and pressing the numbers 1 through 6, where you'll see different list variables in blue above the keys. I can press the down arrow key to move to the Y list. I'll enter the list that contains my Y data points, which are stored in list 2, and again, that's already entered here. If your Y data points are in a different list, enter that list here. Press the down arrow key again to move to the frequency list variable. In this case, this is an optional variable that I would only use if I'd created a separate list to store frequency information. And since I don't have that for this list, I'll skip right over it. If you do have one, enter the list variable here. I'll press the down arrow key again and tell the TI-84C where I want my equation to go. In this case, I want to be able to graph this thing and see it. So I'm going to press the VARS key, which is the variables key just below the directional arrows. Notice there are three tabs here, VARS, YVARS, and COLOR. I'll press the right arrow key once to highlight the Y variables, and then I'll press ENTER once and choose which Y I want to enter my function into. In this case, I want it to go into the first Y variable, which is Y sub 1, so I'm going to press ENTER again. Now I'm just going to press ENTER to highlight CALCULATE and press ENTER again to calculate my regression you can see that the form AX squared plus BX plus C will fit my data best when A equals 1.5, B equals 6.1, and C equals 9. Now I'm going to go to the upper right corner of the graph keypad area and I'll press graph to see my new graph. I could now calculate other values along this line other than my four data points by just using the trace command and following the equation or by entering a specific value and pressing enter. I could also see the data points by graphing the stat plot using the second and y equals keys. You can learn more about how to do that in the stat plot tutorials.